Did you know that the critical mineral lithium is not just found in deposits in China but also in human bodies and that it plays quite a crucial role in our bodies? Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. A new study published on 6th August by Harvard Medical School found for the first time ever that human bodies naturally produce lithium and that it plays a role in slowing brain aging. The research, which is out in Nature Journal, shows that natural lithium protects brain cells and that its depletion is among the first changes leading to memory loss. By studying human brain tissue and mouse models, the researchers discovered that as Alzheimer's progresses, lithium in the brain gets trapped by amyloid plaques, which are clumps of protein that are a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. This prevents lithium from protecting brain cells. However, the team also developed a new compound, lithium orotate, that avoids getting trapped by these plaques. In trials on mice, the compound reversed brain damage and restored memory function. The study said that future trials in humans could validate lithium's role as a missing link in understanding and maybe preventing Alzheimer's disease. Next up, tiny little apple snails may hold the key to future treatments for human eye injuries. A new study in Nature Communications said that these freshwater snails can fully regenerate complex camera-type eyes that they have, which are very similar in structure and genes to human eyes. Led by UC Davis, the research shows how snails regrow their eyes within a month, forming lenses, retinas and even reconnecting optic nerves in case of any damage. What makes this breakthrough exciting is that apple snail eyes share key developmental genes with humans, including PAC6, which is a master gene for eye formation. Using CRISPR, the team showed that disabling PAC6 in snails stops eyes from forming entirely, confirming its crucial role. Now the scientists are exploring whether it also governs eye regeneration in these snails. The scientists did point out that while the snails can anatomically form their eyes all over again, they're not sure if they can see the same using those eyes. Their next experiment would be to test whether regrown eyes and original eyes work similarly. But these snails still provide a powerful new model to decode how eyes rebuild, offering a potential blueprint to someday trigger eye regeneration in humans. For our next story, we're talking about space. Astronomers have captured a bridge of stars stretching a million light years between two galaxies in the Abel 3667 cluster located 700 million light years away from Earth. The faint glow that you'll see on your screens right now is known as intracluster light, ICL. It's made out of stars ripped from one galaxy and pulled into another, which is direct evidence that the two brightest galaxies in the cluster are merging. The discovery, led by Brown University researchers and published in the Astrophysical Journal, used over 28 hours of data from the dark energy camera located in Chile. It confirms that the two galaxy clusters are merging in Abel 3667, a process that was previously suggested only by X-ray and radio observations. This breakthrough offers a glimpse of what the power of night cameras could reveal about the structures of the universe. Finally, finally, a rather intriguing study from the University of Adelaide has found that over 80% of the parasite species that once were found in the kakapo, a critically endangered New Zealand parrot, have vanished. The way researchers found this is by analysing bird poop. That's right. Researchers analysed ancient and modern kakapo droppings, some over 1500 years old, using DNA and microscopy. They found that 9 of 16 parasite species which are found in these droppings disappeared before the 1990s and 4 more were lost after the 1990s even when the bird came under full population management by the New Zealand government. Though often seen as harmful, parasites are very important from an ecological sense because they boost host immunity and they suppress more dangerous infections. Their loss could have unseen impacts 
on both the host species and the ecosystems that they live in. Scientists warn that parasites face high extinction risk when their host species decline and this study showed exactly that in a first-hand manner. The study highlights the need for global parasite conservation strategies because co-extinctions may be more common than previously believed. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into The Print.